Hello everyone. Welcome to session 17 of QV training. In this session, we are learning white box testing techniques. Decision coverage, control flow. You can use control flow diagrams to visually depict program structures. Structures such as decision is easier to understand when depicted visually. You can also analyze code and arrive at test cases by understanding this control flow diagram. A control flow diagram uses two symbols to represent code structure, a rectangle and a diamond. So sequential statements are represented by rectangles and decision statements are depicted by diamonds. Control flow diagrams can be used to depict sequential structure, selection or decision and the iteration. Code that is used sequentially that are executed one after other is the sequential structure. You use rectangular box you use rectangular boxes to depict to depict a sequential structure in a control flow diagram. For example, you use rectangular boxes to depict a program that calculate the sum of two numbers. A decision structure is used to represent decision points within a program. To visually depict code with a decision structure, you use diamond shaped boxes. When the program reaches a decision point, it checks the condition and depending on the outcome, the program branches to the appropriate path in the program. For example, you can use decision structures to depict a condition such as whether the value is less than 0. In an iteration structure, a statement is executed repeatedly until a specific condition is met. Once the condition is satisfied, the program ends or branches to another sequence. You can, you can use the diamond shaped box to depict an iteration structure. For sequential statements, the flow graph is a straight line right line because there are no decision points that cause branching that is your sequential decision points in a program are depicted using if statements you use if statements to check whether a condition is true or false a different set of statements are executed depending on whether the condition evaluates to true or false. Iteration points are depicted using while statements. You can use while statements to repeatedly to repeatedly do a set of statements until a particular condition becomes true or false. Let's continue decision coverage. Decision coverage measures the percentage of decision outcomes exercised by a test suit. You perform decision testing to be certain that a decision is adequately tested. You ensure that during testing all appropriate statements are executed whether a condition evaluates to true or false. Here is the goal of here. Here also the goal of decision testing is to achieve 100% decision coverage. This involves testing both outcomes true and false of a decision. Furthermore, 100% decision coverage guarantees 100% statement coverage. However, however, 100% statement coverage does not necessarily mean 
हंड्रेड परसेंट डिसीजन कवरेज डिसीजन बेस्ड टेक्निक्स डिसीजन बेस्ड टेक्निक्स हेल्प यू हेल्प यू टेस्ट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑन लॉजिक ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन कोड इन सम केसेस यू मे नीड टू यूज ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टेस्टिंग टेक्निक्स बिकॉज वन अलोन मे नॉट बी सफिशियंट to detect all types of bugs in the software determine that <coughs> determining the determining the technique used to test an application or software depends on various internal and external factors like uh, life cycle model what life cycle we are using type of the testing what is the experience of the tester what is the objective of the test what is the timelines what is the budget of what is the budget of that uh, particular project That's all about today thank you team thank you all